Salivas, this is Supers, oh my god, barbecue, and today we're going to touch on the most requested mode for information in WWE 2K20, and that is G-Universe Mode. Yes, because Universe Mode is one of the most popular modes, I had you there, in the game, especially for the hardcore players, the guys who play this on a regular basis and keep playing it after the initial furore has died down. Not to mention some of the excellent creators out there who consistently smash GM mode every single year. Well, it is about time that I dived into it myself and we are gonna be covering off all of the big changes that have happened in GM mode this year. Before we get started though, if you exist, and trust me, if you're here right now, then you, you you do, so what's stopping you? Like this video. Hit the like button. It takes two seconds. You know, helps me, helps you, helps everyone. Subscribe to the channel while you're there for more WWE 2K20 exclusive info and videos. Not to mention WWE Supercard and more. And turn your notifications on. I've split this universe mode brief into three or four sections. So we're gonna cover off everything you will need to know, especially if you're a newbie and a hardcore player, because a lot of these changes are gonna be noticed by people who are playing this on a regular basis and will make a difference to how you play universe mode going forward. And of course, we've got screenshots, so gameplay screenshots, please. Here's universe mode home screen. According to 2K, the biggest two selling points are not only the intention for hardcore universe mode players, but also that the menu flow has been streamlined, as you can see here, to make it more accessible to those new to universe mode, as well as existing hardcore, or even if you're just an average player, the average Joe, playing in universe mode, creating storylines, and then going back and playing my career, and then playing online or whatever. Do so you still got all the deeper options? Talking of deeper options, here comes a few of the big ones. First of all, major and minor show match limits have been increased from 7 to 9. Pay-per-view match limits have been doubled from 7 to 14. 14 matches. The number of championship titles per major show have been increased from 6 to 7. Simultaneous rivalries on major shows have been increased from 3 to 4. And here's a big one. Pay-per-views can be co-hosted by up to 3 major shows versus the previous 2. So you could, if you wanted to, run a whole host of options. You could run NXT, Raw, SmackDown, or Friday Night SmackDown, whatever you want to call it. You could run ECW, WWE, and why have I... WCW, there we go. Why did I, why did I stop there? And of course... You can go WWE, AEW, and TNA. Well, not TNA, Impact Wrestling. It's no longer TNA, but I still see it's TNA, damn it. Or you can have NJPW, Ring of Honor, whatever you want to do. If you are that deep into universe mode, you can make it whatever you want. Some big changes when it comes to cutscenes and promos, where they are stating that players have more freedom to delete and add promos and matches. 50 of the most used cutscenes have been completely reshot with female mocap actors to look more authentic when female superstars are used as well. Possibly including the money in the bank one because that's, yeah. 25 new cutscenes have been added and 3,040 new promo lines have been added to the game as well. There is a lot of additional changes, but what about the match types? Well, custom matches can now include match tables along with new mixed tag matches. There'll be a new championship match setting in match tables, which can be used to make certain matches a title match. Even as a semi-regular player of universe mode, one thing I have noticed is that Money in the Bank Royal Rumble, for example, specific show matches don't always show up on those pay-per-views. Well, there is more likelihood now that a main event slot will be included in certain pay-per-views, like the Royal Rumble match at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. There's also new rivalries. There's options now for the low intensity enemies. And you can see this on screen right now because there are options such as standby, growing, and these are lower to mid intensity allies or make people making peace after one pay-per-view match. So it's more like a WWE TV segment. For example, when Dean Ambrose turned on Seth Rollins, it was weeks and weeks and weeks in the making instead of there being just a sudden heel turn and oh, now they're, they're enemies and stuff. So there can be slow burn angles instead of just, hey, you're my enemy now, I hate you. Okay, cool. 
we got we got a feud. Yay! Seems like a Vince McMahon thing to do. In fact, you know what I'm gonna call that? It's been un-Vince McMahon. You may have noticed on screen as well, we've had a bunch of brand new superstars included and confirmed. But I can't seem to find all of them, so I think I'm gonna need some help. I know. I'm gonna use my powers of clickbait to find every new superstar on this page. There goes. Yes, I found them all. Let's have a look at every single one of them. See, all the arrows, all the red. Yeah, there you go. You, just, you got everything there. Thanks to the power of clickbait. We are good. We got Kyrie Sane, Sonya Deville, Ali, Ember Moon, Apollo Crews, Shelty, Shelty B, and I forgot to mention, but Ricochet was in the last one as well. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section, but I'm going to give you a 30 seconds. That's free. Three times 10, 30 seconds, brutal opinion on the changes. It's great, I like it, but where's GM mode? There needs to be something GM mode wise in this game. It's one of the biggest fixtures in the WWE calendar now. Even if it got completely usurped before the draft was announced by the wildcard rule, it doesn't make sense why GM mode has not been implemented into the game in one way or another. I don't know if visual concepts have got a reason for not including this, or maybe they're looking at maybe making another game. Xavier Woods has spoken about making a mobile game that might include this, but I plead visual concepts, please, next year, make it happen. I've been Super Zombie God Barbecue. You've been awesome. Make sure you're hitting that like button if you exist or you agree about my GM mode points. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any 2K20 exclusive videos and WWE Supercard or many other things. And turn your notifications on. <sighs> One last thing. And that is two. Zombie! Zombie! <laughs>